My name is Steven Gerber. I'm with Disflow Pumps and P6 Polymix. Today, I'm gonna to introduce a new technology for increasing sludge dewatering efficiency. So this is a Disflow Pump. It looks like an insuction centrifugal, but on the inside is a disc pack. So right inside of this pump is this disc pack right here. That's what's doing all of the pumping. The principle of operation is boundary layer and viscous drag. We'll turn it down a little bit. So as fluid enters the eye of the disc, the disc pack rotates, the liquid sticks to the disc, rotates at the same speed, and drags the next layers with it. So it's smooth laminar flow, non-pulsating design. We have no tight clearances. We have an eighth of an inch front and back uh, of our disc pack. And in the pumping world, an eighth of an inch is a mile wide. So no tight clearances combined with boundary layer viscous drag. The boundary layer does two things. It protects your pump from damage by the product. So we pump very abrasive materials with little to no wear on the pump itself. The fluid that's moving in the highest velocity zone is away from the disc surface. All of your abrasives that would be near the disc are in the low velocity zone, so there's no wear. We also handle very shear sensitive materials. So polymers, crystals, we don't damage the flock of wastewater for dewatering. So all of your um, shear sensitive material moving in the center away from the disc surface. In addition, there's no blades or veins to chop it up. So in a centrifugal design, you would have, it'll be uh, the product would get chopped up as it enters the pump and chopped up as it exits. With our design, we have no shear at all. So it's smooth laminar flow, uh, non-shearing, non-pulsating design. Because we're laminar flow, non-pulsating, we have very little radial and axial loads. So our bearings last longer, our seals last longer. Um, in the municipal market, uh, we go into, on, on the wastewater side, that one to 6% sludge range. So as long as the product can flow into the pump, we can pump it out. Um, at the head of the plant, we get into your abrasive grit applications, wastewater scum with a lot of trash and debris. We size the discs and the spacing according to the solids. So we can have the discs you know, a quarter inch apart and we can have them 12 inches apart to handle large solids. Uh, we get into primary sludge where there's a lot of braces and trash. We uh, get into applications return activated sludge that would typically rag up. We have pumps that are spaced 12 inches apart with the disc to handle those uh, applications without ragging up. Waste activated sludge. The sweet spot where we really excel is in um, viscous and abrasive. And you find that at the end of the wastewater treatment plant process when you get into sludge dewatering. So feeding centrifuges, feeding belt presses, feeding screw presses, we do an excellent job feeding that you know, one to 4% to your dewatering equipment. Um, and we're gonna talk about that with our P6 Polymix system. In a traditional sludge dewatering application, you have a sludge feed line feeding a positive displacement pump, such as a progressive cavity, rotary lobe, double disc diaphragm. After the pump, you go through a um, polymer injection ring, followed by a high shear mixing valve. That sludge is then fed to the thickener. The high shear mixing valve does a good job to mix up the sludge with the polymer. It's a tried and true method. If your cake isn't any good on the back end, they simply crank up the polymer, right? And then when the, when the polymer uh, is cranked up high enough that you get good cake, everyone says, good, good job. However, what they're not doing is measuring how much polymer they're damaging right here and how much of the sludge they're beating up the flock with the pump itself. So what we've done is we've taken the P6 method and we actually inject the polymer directly into the pump. I talked about how the boundary layer viscous drag principle is very shear sensitive and it, and it works to mix the product with the polymer together. So the polymer gets injected into the pump. The pump itself does the mixing. We eliminate this high shear mixing valve and now you're feeding the press at less back pressure. With say 400 gallons a minute going to a belt filter press, you could have you know, 25 to 40 PSI right here on that valve. That goes away, so now we're doing it at a lower pressure. Because you don't have the high shear mixing valve and you're not beating up the flock with the pump, our pump is handling it gently. Customers typically see anywhere from 20 to 50% reduction in polymer consumption needed to get the dry cake on the back end. In addition, there's a potential for drier cake on the back end because now you're optimizing your system. The industry puts a lot of money, science, time, and energy into developing very good belt filter presses, screw presses. They put a lot of time and energy into developing dilute neat polymer systems to unwind the polymer and feed the polymer into the line. And then after they spend all that money, 
they shear the heck out of it with this high shear mixing valve. So that completely goes away. Now we're doing it at low pressure. The pump itself is doing the mixing. We're reducing polymer consumption. You have the potential for drier cake on the back end and customers are seeing from one, two, three, four percent drier cake on the back end. Depends on how old your equipment is. Um, and in addition, because of our boundary layer viscous drag principle that I talked about where the boundary layer protects your pump from damage by the product, we offer up to a 20 year wear warranty on the pump itself. So every dewatering application needs a sludge pump regardless. So this isn't a new piece of equipment added to the equation. This P6 system replaces your high maintenance positive displacement pump. However, it does it with all these additional benefits and with up to a 20 year wear warranty, which is unheard of in the industry. Pump manufacturers won't even give you a one day war uh, wear warranty, let alone a 20 year wear warranty. So this is the way the P6 Polymix system works. This is a production size P6 Polymix system. This is our four by three inch disc flow pump. We have our P6 Polymix inject chamber. The polymer, the dilute neat polymer is injected into the sludge feed line using the boundary layer viscous drag principle. We gently mix the, the polymer with the sludge without shearing it and send it to the dewatering equipment, your belt press, your screw press, what have you. So we make this uh, piece, uh, the P6 Polymix system in multiple configurations. You can get a close couple design, you can get a belt drive design, a direct drive design. You're always going to have this inject chamber on the front end of your pump, feeding that polymer in. We're agnostic to your polymer system or your dewatering system. So we'll work with anyone's polymer makeup system that you just have to provide the injection into the P6 inject chamber and we'll feed anyone's dewatering equipment, whether it's a screw press, a belt press, a gravity belt thickener, a uh, rotary thickener, you know, it could go to a, a clarifier. I mean, any sort of thickening device, this system works well. We typically have a double cartridge seal on our pumps. One of the unique benefits of, of a double cartridge seal with a disc flow pump is you can run the pump dry without damaging the pump. We use uh, IEEE 841 motors, so you, you get a chemical processing motor. This is the P6 Polymix system. For more information, you can visit p6polymix.com and disflow.com.